away from home if you're from where Sension Niche is uh, produced. Uh, they're in Florida, we're in Arizona. Right. We have two facilities, one in Florida and one in Pennsylvania. Oh, well, even Pennsylvania is still a fair distance yes, from here. Yes, it is. Okay. So what is it that you have brought to the show here? Well, Greg's a good customer of ours that puts on this show, and uh, we have not done a show here in the West Coast. So we decided to come out here to the Aviation Expo and uh, show our wares. Okay. Now, Sensenich has been producing props for how many years? Uh, this is our 85th year this year. 85th year? 85 years, yes. And I know that you guys are supplying a lot of props to our industry. Yes, we are. We supply props for light sport aircraft and also uh, the uh, certified aircraft and experimental aircraft also. Okay. Now, these props that you've got here, uh, a two blade and a three blade, are they wood or composite construction? These are ground adjustable composite propellers manufactured from carbon fiber and fiberglass. Now, is this the only style of prop that uh, Sensionage produces? Sensitic makes uh, ground adjustable composite propellers for experimental and light sport aircraft. We also make wood propellers for the same market and metal propellers. The wood propellers and the metal propellers are fixed pitch. All the uh, composite propellers are ground adjustable. Now, these fit, as we mentioned, into experimental and light sport. In the light sport aircraft category, they have to be ASTM compliant. These are have met the compliance? Yes, these are ASTM compliant propellers. Okay. Now, we're also using a variety of engines in the uh, light sport experimental end. Uh, what type of engines uh, will these fit onto? Well, we go anywhere from basically about 60 horsepower uh, Volkswagen engines. Uh, all the way up to the Lycoming engines. In between there you have Jabiru, 80 and 120 horsepower engines, UL power engines, and uh, the Continental engines also. Yeah. And some of those engines are direct drive, others are gear reduction drive, so you, you must work on both uh, applications then? Yes, we do. Generally a direct drive application requires a uh, stronger propeller because the uh, torque is going right into the propeller and not being absorbed by gearbox. Okay. Now what about the bolt patterns? Uh, again, there's various bolt patterns on these engines. Uh, what are you set up to handle? Well, the hubs are drilled appropriate for their application and the different engines. And yes, you're right, there are a variety of yeah. bolt patterns out there that need to be uh, serviced. Okay. Now, we mentioned ground adjustable. What is involved in doing that ground adjusting? Well, ours are unique. We use what we call a pitch setting gauge system. So the blades are drilled with a pin, and then we have gauges that go in the hub. The pin goes up against a gauge, and that sets the pitch. And what that allows us to do is to make it very easy for the operator to adjust pitch. And how long would that take? Our, our shtick for people is we tell them it takes you longer to take off the spinner than it does to adjust the pitch. Now, a lot of these aircraft, uh, for example, I'm flying a Sea Ray. Uh, it's in water application, right. also in a pusher configuration. How do you handle that? We make both tractor and pusher configuration propellers. And if you notice here, all of our propellers have a bonded on metal leading edge for erosion protection. Okay. Now, if someone wanted a propeller, uh, say I was uh, flying on a 912 Rotax engine, what type of information do you need from me in order to get a propeller delivered to me? Well, when someone calls looking for a propeller, we're basically looking for uh, three things. One, the application, whether it's tractor or pusher, uh, the engine horsepower, and really the engine model and then the aircraft speed. And from that, we have a variety of propellers to select from. Okay. Or what is the difference then between a two blade and a three blade as far as your recommendations go? Really, it depends on the operator, on their preference. Generally, a two blade propeller is more efficient than a three blade propeller, but sometimes you have issues such as ground clearance that require a shorter diameter propeller. And then that's when sometimes a three blade will come in. Also, a three-blade propeller will generally run smoother than a two-blade propeller. Okay. So, 
say I wanted a propeller, I've given a call to you and given you the information. What type of delivery times am I generally looking at to get a, a propeller uh, delivered to my door? On the uh, metal propellers, we mostly stock those. The wood propellers are made to order just because th we have to cut the pitch into the propeller. And then ground adjustable composite propellers are either a stock item or a two to three week delivery time. Now, how many of these propellers are out there in the market now? Sensitic in its history has made well over 850,000 propellers. So um, there are a lot of propellers out there. We get calls and emails every day from people that have found propellers in their grandfather's attic and uh, just at, bought them at a sale. Um, back in World War II, Sensenik was making upwards of 4,000 propellers a week. Wow. So if somebody wanted to get more information, uh, maybe place an order, what's the easiest way to do that? Usually the best way is to email us or to call us or to go on our website. You can email us off our website, www.sensenik.com. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. The Copper State Fly-In has been bringing aviation enthusiasts in the Southwest U.S. together since 1973. This year we are thrilled to be hosting the Copper State Fly-In at the Buckeye Municipal Airport, KBXK, in conjunction with the Buckeye Airfare. The dates for the fly-in are February 8, 9 and 10, 2019. We anticipate that the 2019 Copper State Fly-In will break all of our previous attendance records. Admission and parking to the 2019 Copper State Fly-In and Buckeye Airfare are free, including the two-hour air shows, beginning at noon, Saturday and Sunday. So make sure to join us for a weekend of free fun for the entire family. Sea Light Sport Aircraft, Experimental Aircraft, Ultralights, Vintage and Military Aircraft, as well as Action Pack Demonstrations. Visit the many educational forums, aircraft displays, youth activities, or one of the over 100 vendors. Copper State Flying Inc. is a volunteer-run, non-profit organization dedicated to promoting recreational and general aviation through events, scholarships, and public education. Proceeds from the Copper State Fly-In help support scholarship programs for youth seeking careers in the aerospace industry. Copper State is the largest fly-in of its type in the western United States and the fourth largest fly-in in the U.S. We look forward to seeing you, February 8-10, 2019, at the Buckeye Municipal Airport, 3000 South Palo Verde Road, Buckeye, Arizona.